Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of We Need to Crypto Talk, an online series featuring interviews with people building the new age applications on the top of blockchain technology. Joining us today is Alexey Berdigo, the founder and the CEO of Play to Live. Well, it took me a little while to get him on board for this show. He's super busy building a streaming platform for esports and gaming industries. So indeed, without further ado, let's welcome him on our show. Hello Alexey, how are you? Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm fine. So, yes, the true is pretty much busy, so I'm still traveling a lot. So, in many countries in USA, in Asia, in Europe, so yeah, but uh, I am very happy that finally we have a chance to talk with you and uh, with uh, your subscribers and your viewers. Likewise, really, Alexey. So, I won't waste any time and I'll just simply start by asking you to introduce yourself to our audience and your background in blockchain space. Yeah okay uh, so let me introduce uh, a little bit uh, myself so my name is Alexey Brodyka I'm CEO and founder of Play to Life uh, let me introduce uh, my background from the both sides uh, not only from the blockchain uh, but also from the esports uh, and gaming side so uh, the long sh- the long sh- story short is that 9 years ago I began to do the First esports tournaments, I mean really big esports tournaments with uh, eight, ten thousand people uh, in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, then in Lithuania, in Germany, uh, uh, with a really big quantity of uh, um, participants and viewers who came to the stadiums to see these esports tournaments. Yeah, mm-hmm. and for sure we were broadcasting this on uh, streaming platforms like Twitch, YouTube Gaming, Kazuba, Hitbox, and etc. So, and uh, regarding this experience, about three years ago, we understand with my team that we could uh, bring absolutely new experience regarding the uh, live video streaming for gamers because we see and literally touch the audience on such uh, platforms because we deliver really big quantity of content like esports content, like uh, content with some esports celebrities and with the regular streamers. And two years ago, I invent for me the blockchain sphere. So I'm not super familiar uh, with trading uh, for crypto. Uh, for now, for sure, yes. But uh, if we're talking about two years ago, I began to uh, review a blockchain as a technology. And we realized that uh, there are some functionalities, if we will mix between our experience uh, and functionalities of streaming video platforms, plus using cryptocurrency and some uh, really cool features from the blockchain technology, we could deliver absolutely new experience to uh, our users and talking more. We even could create a new ecosystem with a absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely different uh, mechanics uh, versus uh, existing uh, streaming platforms. And we could deliver absolutely new experience to our users. So with uh, this uh, I, with the original uh, original ideas plus uh, with understanding how we could deliver and uh, bring the blockchain technology together with this so we uh, begin to do the play to life project and we successfully enter our ico right now and uh, actually so yesterday we begin uh, trading on uh, some uh, cryptocurrency exchanges well that certainly sounds like a dvd summary to me, uh, to as a whole, because uh, the question I'm about to ask certainly touch on the more elaborative parts. Uh, first and foremost, I would like you to explain that what your platform is called Play to Live, and what is it exactly doing? How is it exactly functioning? I mean, can you explain it to our audience in the most layman term ever? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. So, by the way, it's uh, Play to Live uh, could be pronounced, but also Play to Live. So it's oh, yeah. both meanings. Are okay, versus Play to Live mean play to be broadcasted yeah to do the live broadcast yeah Creative. and play to live is a mostly like a lifestyle so you're, you're playing certainly, to, you're certainly playing yeah. with your english here yeah. that's great <laughs> yeah yeah so we put these two meanings so and uh, the viewers the users uh, they could let's say choose whatever they like yeah and uh, okay uh, come back to the original questions uh, so um so the main question is uh, what, uh, uh, how to say, what uh, um, general things we are bring to our audience with a play to life, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the things is, I think this is um, 
four fundamental things that we bring in here together with the blockchain technology. So I could uh, explain uh, very shortly these uh, four main things. So first one, uh, we allow to our viewers to earn tokens just by watching the streams. And the blockchain technology here, we need to do this absolutely uh, with fully transparency. So how it's possible? Uh, first, as you probably know, we're very good known the project uh, uh, Brave Browser and Basic Attention Token, right. uh, which the, the original conception is that it's absolutely advertisement-free browser, mm. but you could earn tokens uh, by uh, watching advertisement if you wanted to do this. Yeah. So here, um, we are continue this original idea of Brave Browser, and uh, on our platform, is the logic is absolutely the same. So if you're watching advertisement, you could get tokens as a rewards for this. And it's also solve lots of problem for using ad block among this uh, audience uh, that uh, using such platforms because we have research, many researches around this, and mm -hmm. we believe with the experience uh, to bring in possibility to earn tokens as a rewards for watching advertisement, gamers will be happy. Mm -hmm. So this is the first very simple use case. So press some random green button on the platform and begin to get tokens just by watching advertisement. The second use case, it's a technology peer-to-peer -peer CDN. So it's a not super new technology actually, but we improved this inside uh, our um, developer uh, center, which is actually, by the way, situated uh, in Belarus, in Minsk, in, uh, in High Tech Park. Uh, so we uh, right now applying as a member of the Heritage Park of Belarus, and I believe you know also about all these wonderful benefits that right now Indeed. Belarus has from the yeah. legal part. And well, right. I could be very proud that I am also Belarusian as well. So wow. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah yeah. I must, so I must, I'm really, uh, I must really get in touch with you after this call because I'm trying to set up my own company. So yeah. <laughs> oh all okay, right. no problem. So for, for sure, Belarus we could is help <laughs> But yeah, you know, absolutely. But I have to I have to ask you about something that you know Play to Live is a game streaming platform, but we already have a very uh, definite structure, a kind of a hegemony in the traditional market space right now, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, these marketplaces haven't posed any threat to the people who are already use, using these uh, live streaming platforms. Uh, you said that you want to uh, distribute free tokens and uh, you want to make sure that people get uh, incentivized for watching these uh, things. But are they even interested? I mean, what uh, value does these token actually hold? Would they interest them in a longer run? And how would you ensure that mm -hmm. these token you are distributing or just giving them as incentive, they have value uh, in, the, in the longer mm -hmm. run? Mm -hmm. Understand. Uh, I, got, I get the question. Okay. So I just begin uh, from the describing the uh, many features and advantages that you have. So the value, the value will create and by users actually uh, according to our economical model. So if you could, if you will see on the main page of playtowife.io, our economic model, mm -hmm. you could see very simple thing like uh, the most of our viewers, the most of our viewers, they are just regular fiat users because they will came to our platform from, from Twitch and uh, YouTube gaming. So mm -hmm. there are no chance to accept crypto on this platform. So they are mostly fiat users. So 95, 98% of the users, they will be fiat users. But according to our economical model, any penny that they will spend from their Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, will affect positive to the uh, rate uh, of the token because we buying tokens from the open market and then then we will spend inside the platform uh we have our economical model for revenue share and then we burn some part of our gross revenue so it's effect positive uh, on the rate of the token and uh, what is uh, most extremely important we create in the cycle inside the ecosystem with the tokens so that means that if we do the reward some part of the tokens, it's come back inside the system and uh, make a circulation uh, among this. So this is the key answer why uh, the tokens uh, will have the value. But together with this, I may admit a very important thing that uh, the users create the value. So as much more users we have and as much they could spend inside the platform, 
<coughs> that bigger quantity of tokens were purchased from the market to put inside the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So uh, here for, I don't know, for token holders, for users, for uh, all potential token holders uh, who, who wanted to buy. Uh, so I may say that extremely uh, important to understand that, yes, our business uh, Mm, depends uh, on how much users we will have on the platforms. Okay. But uh, on this space, me, especially me and uh, our team have a great experience to bring in the audience on such platforms. Just for example, so Twitch right now have uh, about 150 million users monthly. Mm. So uh, when I worked with uh, Azubu and Hitbox, I deliver uh, about from seven to 10 million uh, unique viewers to these platforms with before really small quantity of organic traffic. And then we convert these uh, users to the paying users inside the ecosystems. So on play to life, we have more or less the same targets to bring the audience with some interesting content, deliver to them absolutely new experience and new features like interactive tasks. We even have some wonderful functionalities like uh, battle of the streamers. So could you imagine that streamers, they could do the battle and the viewers, they could vote with the tokens like for the tasks they wanna to do the both streamers. And we have the subscribers and fans of one streamer and we have the subscribers and fans of the second streamer. So on this simple example, I just uh, explain you that we have the much more, uh, very big quantity features, exclusive features, which didn't uh, exist right now on the another streaming platforms. Right. And it helps, it helps very, uh, very well to um, bring uh, these additional users to the platform. Soon, very soon, well, I think I do some exclusive announcement right now, probably for, for your users really? that uh, will, yes, that we will bring uh, some uh, announcement this week or probably ne beginning next week about holding the worldwide esports tournament exclusively broadcasted in six languages on wow. Play to Life this year. It will be worldwide esports tournaments with price pool half million US dollars with the all top esports teams. So I will not put many uh, details, so uh, all additional details, what game, what teams, and uh, the dates and etc. Everything we will bring in the press release. But in our plans, we uh, could deliver uh, at min minimum uh, three esports tournaments like this for this year or probably early next year. And lots of another tournaments, esports celebrities, and etc. So together with this, we create in the audience on the platform. Mm -hmm. Then this audience organically uh, could bring uh, the additional audience. They have 15 ways how to spend money, mm -hmm. and for this, they're buying the tokens from the open market, creating mm -hmm. demand on these tokens on the right. uh, open market, and creating the value for the tokens. Yeah, and then it's uh, uh, how to say circulating uh, inside the ecosystem. So, like this. That's great. I mean, that's a, that's a cool use case you have just brought up. And thanks to you for mentioning the announcement. I think it's very much exclusive. You have not uh, announced it anywhere else, right? Absolutely. But let me let me dwell into that. I mean, uh, are there like fresh signups for this tournament? How many people are you expecting to bring for this uh, tournament you have announced just right now? Uh, yeah. And so because that will certainly, uh, you know, uh, help us uh, derive the kind of demand that will come to your platform. So how many are you expecting at this point of time? Well, here is a space which I'm actually working about nine years. So personally, me, in yeah. my experience, I did 35 events like this. I mean, wow. a big sports tournaments and etc. And for sure, for the, all these nine years, with the all stages of uh, improving the video streaming platforms for gamers, we have all range of statistics for all this year. So what is extremely important, we understand what are the numbers, how much, uh, per um, what quantity of these users could convert to the active users, to the paying users on the platform, and et cetera, and et cetera. So regarding the numbers, regularly um, on such, um, uh, such tournaments could bring from five to 10 million unique wow. viewers uh, per season. Yeah, because really? you have the online, uh, yeah, you have, you have three stages, three stages usually. You have online qualifying rounds in all continents, like mm -hmm. in Latin America, in USA, in Europe, in Asia, in China, and etc. Then you have the group stage, yeah, where is the finalist uh, do the, how to say, the final match. And then you have the 
I would say the final group stage on the stadium, semifinals, and the grind finals, which is actually playing on some big stadium with a big crowd, big quantity of physical uh, persons uh, on the stadium, and etc. So if we combine in the whole season, qualifying rounds, group stage, and the grand finals, mm-hmm. yes, it could, it, it could deliver to the platforms from 5 to 10 million uh, unique viewers. And wow. together, with, together with this, because we are planning to do uh, at least three championships like this, plus we are bringing lots of the exclusive contracts with the esports celebrities, with the famous streamers, with the tier 2, tier 3 streamers also, because we are creating the, how to say, organic uh, ecosystem inside, yeah? Right. Mm, and with our experience, we believe that till the end of the year, we will have minimum 5 million registered users on our blockchain. So that means inside our platform and that means actually the users of our blockchain. And I know very well that it's a huge numbers for the current blockchains, yeah, because they have, they don't have such... Yeah, it's a, a, a really big number, big numbers. But together with this, as I said before, we absolutely understand how to bring such quantity of users, and that's why we put the statement that till the end of the year we should have on our blockchain uh, about five million um, registered users. You mentioned our blockchain. You know, I think you constantly said that during the interview. That's your blockchain. I mean, is it, does that mean that you're not using a public blockchain, or you have created a hybrid solution of your own? Uh, mm-hmm. I might have heard the rumors yeah. about a new blockchain you have created. Uh, so, uh, if it's true, I mean, can you tell me more about it? That what is the blockchain and how are you handling this much, you know, scalability uh, at your level right now, and how is it happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, t- uh, let me tell me more that we we also have lots of questions uh, regarding this after our announcement of our blockchain. So. Uh, First of all, um, I could explain why we decided to do this. Yeah, so we begin to review, and in the original our white paper, we wanted to uh, do uh, our blockchain uh, based on the bit shares, which is actually a very good solution. And uh, um, well, it's a uh, uh, quite good for our uh, targets uh, inside the platform. But after more deep reviewing in the process of uh, ISO, in the in the process of development, we understand that uh, for us, we have a really big quantity of specific requirements, especially, especially with the quantity transactions on the platform. Because if you somehow or someone watch, I don't know, some broadcast on Twitch, and you have you have seen some really big uh, tournaments like uh, for CS:GO worldwide esports tournaments or Dota 2 or League of Legends. You s- you saw how many people, and then just imagine that they begin to do the many transactions which we need to put to the blockchain, right. like uh, two hundred uh, thousands uh, users in peak CCU, they begin to do the transactions with a very small amount of money, like one use the door, two use the door, and etc. So it requires a lot, and we begin to afraid that the public uh, blockchain couldn't uh, deliver uh, to our users uh, enough quantity of uh, speed and uh, good price for these transactions. That's why we uh, begin to uh, develop our own blockchain inside, because we have very big quantity of Russian and Belarusians um, talented developers, so we begin to do the uh, architecture from the beginning uh, to what we need to have on, inside the play to And for now, so we are ready to bring this in the latest uh, July, the test net of this blockchain, together with the better version of the platform. So probably it will be somewhere in the beginning of August, so we are still very hard in the development process here. Uh, but together with the platform, everyone will see our blockchain. But there's, and, a, there's a series of questions that are popping up in my mind. I'm really sorry to okay, interrupt you there. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just I'm just wondering that this blockchain is it like totally private or uh, so? What about the integrity of this entire thing? I mean, is it decentralized enough? How are the block uh, getting validated on this one? And is it even faster than Bitcoin or Ethereum, which it should be? And of course, my mm-hmm. main question is about the integrity of this solution. That how are you ensuring that? Uh, no one person takes control of the entire network and uh, try to change the rules uh, on their own whims. Uh, because people out there are looking for such decentralized solutions from the blockchain itself. So it's a private blockchain. What good is it? It is. 
can you just uh, elaborate on that sir yeah so <coughs> well, first of all we will bring the um we will bring the private version of the blockchain yeah uh, just to start uh, operations with the play to life mm -hmm. but till the end of the year we plan to uh, bring the public also public version of this blockchain so we are doing step by step and uh, so for the first let's say uh, test uh, we are bringing the private version uh, of the uh, of this blockchain level up chain uh, for play to life uh, so about the quantity of transactions uh, uh, and speed and um, and etc so uh, here for sure i believe that uh, it will be better to bring the our cto to answer the question so i could answer only on general uh right. gen gen general num numbers yeah we have 500 transactions per second but we have the functionality when you could uh, create the sub chains mm -hmm. in case uh we have uh the uh, in in case uh we need to increase the quantity of transactions mm -hmm. so that means that from the early beginning because we know all our 15 uh functionalities which are requiring the payments. So mm -hmm. from the early beginning, we could create the 15 subchains here, yeah? Right. And uh, that's allowed to us to do the balance uh, between the quantity and speed of transactions. But together with this, if, we will, if the system will see that we, um, we have the... Uh, uh, we have uh, some bigger quantity of transactions in some block. For example, we have all very big quantity of donations uh, in the, in that moment. So we could create automatically uh, the additional subchain and spread this uh, um, quantity of transactions be between two these blockchains. And the cost of transactions uh, from the beginning in this private blockchain, we begin to test with the price uh, one cent per transaction, which is extremely cheap. All right. So you know, I'll just move from the technical uh, questions because I had a few in mind, but I think I'm, I'm going to reach uh, your CTO for further clarification on the public blockchain system. Yeah. Uh, that how is it turning yeah. out to be? So you know, I'm going to move to a general question that you have raised uh, 30 million dollar in the recent uh, ICO of your LUC token, since I've heard that. So uh, with the funding, how are you planning to spend it in the next five years, and where do you see the value of LUC token reaching? Uh, you know, in the next five years as well. Also, there's the question attached that uh, is there any exchanges or are there any exchanges interested in listing the token already? If yes, where can we start trading it? Yeah, okay. I could tell you more about this. Uh, so, well, first thing that actually I mentioned many times when I uh, done the ICO, that actually uh, even we have very difficult very difficult development because we need to develop uh, our development uh, it consists of four main parts streaming core blockchain um, so the function the general functionality inside the ecosystem and very big quantity of functionalities with the neural network mm -hmm. because we have uh, a lot of interesting things like interactive tasks and etc uh it's connected to the neural network so very big uh four parts of the development but together with this i'm really wondering when i saw the many projects which are collected 50 million or 100 million US dollars and they plan to spend half for the development so i really wondered on such distribution of funds because i couldn't imagine any project which uh, could uh, spend so big quantity of money for the development yeah right. so for our business for our business we are mostly focusing with understanding that we could bring the absolutely new level of the uh cryptocurrency users when you created some really retail product that means that everyone who are uh, before uh, using the fiat money and uh, such services like paypal etc mm -hmm. they could have the very simple interface very um how to say um, very uh, simple and uh, uh, you have, you useful service. Yeah. yeah, and see, in fact, these advantages, but no disadvantages or some uncomfortable situations with uh, uh, crypto, but using their advantages like speed and, and uh, the cost of transactions. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we are focusing on mostly on this, and uh, this experience we could bring only in case we understand that. Um, we could bring enough quantity of audience on our platform. 
So that's why uh, about 40, even 45 percent of the funds we uh, plan to spend for the marketing and acquisition of license for the esports tournaments, uh, esports celebrities, and uh, some streamers. Because if you bring this big quantity of organic audience on the platform, and you will have the right ecosystem for mm. all participants, mm. then you could see organic growth of your platform. And then, yeah, you, you could add your features, your development of the blockchain, everything with a good interface, with a good use cases, and etc. And then you will see the result uh, for the um, real economical world. Value. And regard, yeah, and uh, yeah, and you see the value. And because I have already mentioned the economical model inside our ecosystem is talking. In that case, you will see the more and more value for the token because this uh, actually part of the ecosystem, the payment method. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't speculate uh, with the um, with the so how much times will grow uh, LUC token on the market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I really couldn't speculate on this. But what I may say uh, that I don't know many projects which uh, really able to deliver about 5 million users on their blockchain. This is the first. Together with our... Because most decision. of them are relying on public blockchains and since you're working for an enterprise paid solution, that is pretty obvious that you can entertain those 5 million people. Uh, I, would, I, think, I think the real news would be when you will create a public blockchain and then we'll be able to handle such a large influx of people, uh, users to your yeah. platform. So we, I'll be waiting so, for yeah. that day. But as far as the yeah, exchanges, yeah. exchange listings is concerned, I mean, uh, you've already done your token sales. So what is the next plan? Are you adding your token on any exchange? Are you in talks with any exchange? Yeah, yet? sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. We have we have already started. We have already started uh, with uh, uh, HitBTC, Yobit, and Coinbenia. Uh, on this week, we will do the additional announcement. We will list on the uh, another one top ten uh, exchanges. Uh, I mean, from the rating of uh, daily trading volume. And I believe that uh, till the end of the June, we will list on one more or probably even on two tier one exchanges also. So we're just doing this uh, step by step because as you probably know right now, it's a very big uh, questions to have the listing on the exchanges. So it's uh, so many projects and etc. But <coughs> together with this, so we promise to our uh, token holders to be listed uh, between 30 uh, to 60 days after the end of ICO. So uh, we deliver this in time, but now we just will add partially every week or every two weeks some additional exchanges and uh, how to say structuring our work in the proper way with the exchanges. Yeah, yes, if you, if, if you also, I just uh, add uh, some very uh, short statements. So as I said, yeah, yes, sure. we'll start right. as a as a as a as a private uh, chain with a play to life, but uh, our play, our plans also also to bring some additional projects, and we have already agreements with these projects to use our blockchain. It's minimum five projects that we could deliver till the end of the year. So when the public blockchain will start, we will have already the full ecosystem with the six projects inside that will combine the, the users and because it will be the public blockchain, so we will be absolutely open that any kind of uh, existing projects will yeah. join us. And so exclusively, it, will be, it will be based on your LUC token, so I think it could also add up to the value of your tokens because... Uh, yeah, yeah, but be, because yeah. it will be the ah, but because it will be the public blockchain, we could do the as much as we could the also private chains, and they could yeah. use their own tokens. But they yeah. will be in the one ecosystem, which is extremely important uh, to the additional value to the token. Yeah. Well, we'll be sure to stay updated, sir. And with that note, I think we can wrap this interview. Thank you really much for speaking to us, Alex. Like-